parts. That's and this cute. one would really come in handy. Yes, absolutely. We've got this amazing. Could you put it in the hearts? <laughs> put it in the hearts. Um, this is the Dash Compact Candy Maker. This is brand new for this season. We've never had it before. And of course, we love Dash because they really are all about kind of unprocessing our foods, mm -hmm. but still keeping the fun in it. Yeah. It's not like unprocessed, boring food. It's no. unprocessed, delicious and yes. beautiful food. This is a candy maker. It will make chocolates and it will make yes. da -la 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 gummies. gummies. I know. And you get... I know. Oh my gosh, I your am gummy bears obsessed with yeah. these. Is he? Yeah, oh, and you're getting, <laughs> you're okay. getting, there's your gummy. Look at him. <gasps> you can make your own gummies without all the artificial oh colorings, you guys. You're getting the candy maker, obviously, but you're also getting two of the molds, the hearts. <gasps> love, because hearts are good all year of round. Course, always. And so are bears. You're getting both of the molds. These are silicone molds. Now, online, if you love like stars or seashells, you can always get, you know, all kinds of different molds, right? So those are just silicone molds for candy. All right, but what I love is that it keeps it at the the perfect temperature. There's two settings. Number one for chocolate, number two for gummies. That's it. That's, That's all so you cool. have to know. The recipe guide comes with really cool, fun recipes. Like, we're giving you red, red wine gummy ideas, um, oh. you know, cough, you know, lozenge gummies, antioxidant gummies. Let's just have fun with this. So this one is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it that way for you guys. Uh, the chocolate. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put in your chocolate and you're gonna melt it to the perfect temperature. Now, the alternative to this would be tempering your own chocolate with a double boiler, getting out your candy mm. thermometer and standing there waiting for your chocolate. Otherwise, you could do it with Dash and the candy maker brings it right to that perfect temperature. So you just take whatever chocolate you want, whether it be white chocolate, whether you add a little caramel in the bottom, whether you want to add and sprinkle sea salt on the top. And you can see I'm getting some drips on the silicone. Silicone is the ultimate in nonstick, so none of those drips will matter after I put this in the refrigerator. They will all go away and you will have the perfect chocolate hearts. Mm. So you can see all you do is melt it. It'll only takes about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, once okay. you put it on the inside. Here are some ideas of things you can melt. You can either buy the little chips, you can buy the little bars, you can also buy the discs. The discs, in my opinion, work the best, okay? But you can buy any chocolate to melt, whether it's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, any kind of chocolate, and you can get all of this in the baking aisle. And then you just pop it inside your candy maker, and you can literally walk away. It brings it to the perfect uh, temperature. And I then you can that. pull it out once it's melted and drizzle it into your trays. Okay, and then once you have your chocolate, you just give it a couple of tap, tap, taps. It will fill in nicely, and then uh, this is what you get, you guys. Every single time, it's gonna Watch just pop this. out of the mold. And this is after the refrigerator of 30 Those minutes, so you can leave it overnight or however long you want. But look at how cute. Now, you know, somebody was saying, well, how is that healthier? And I said, well, yeah, it definitely still has calories and doesn't really have sugar. But guess what's not in here? Preservatives, chemicals, sodium, uh, colorants, um, red dye 46 or yellow dye 74. Or I'm, you know, making those numbers up, but yeah. there's no added chemicals that we had to add to this to get a beautiful chocolate treat. And you can customize it and make your own original yeah. chocolates, like for a baby shower oh, I love or that. a wedding favor. Because those little discs come in every kind of color, they color imaginable. They come in every color imaginable. Yeah. And then gelatin is what you use for the gummies. Okay? okay. So it's gelatin and you can add sugar. You don't have to though, which is great because you could do like a sweetener like stevia if you wanted, but then any liquid. Oh my gosh, so whether so it's good. orange juice, pomegranate, pomegranate juice, apple juice, uh, you know, I mean, I'd think of any sweet liquid that you would like to turn into a gummy, red wine, sangria, margarita gummies, Ooh. all these ideas for adult versions. Um, this one is just, you know, the gelatin with a little bit of sugar, and you can do all the colors, because gelatin comes in all the colors as well. So number two setting is good for um, the jello, and you can see the gelatin, excuse me, the gummies. It has a pour spout on both sides, my friends. So you can just you know, pour for righties or lefties. Look at and how you, easy that comes out. Like, I mean, it's like the perfect pour spout. I mean, so you could do both ways. You can see I'm gonna flip it over this way and pour it from over here. Um, but and like I said, get a little bit messy, my friends, because the silicone, it doesn't matter, okay? So there you go, and then that goes into your refrigerator for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then, yeah, there you go. That's Look a red that's wine gummy with it? Shannon. I'm gonna have to try that one. Now, when you, got, when you get in that, try it. I'm going to, okay, I just yeah. want to show it to <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So when you're, um, oh, it's really it tastes like red wine. <laughs> just like red wine, but a gummy. <gasps> is that not amazing? Mm. Like for weddings or you know wedding gifts, Ooh. and to put them in a little glass. Um, when it, awesome. when it comes in your mold, you'll feel like it's going to stick, right? You can see it looks like it's going to stick, but when you pop it inside out, it literally just peels oh. out. So you get this beautiful. Mm. 
part. So don't be afraid to get, you know, a little aggressive with it to get it out of there because it's, it's it turned it into a gummy, right? And so we're That's not used really to cool. that. Yeah, isn't that neat? So you just peel each and every heart, whether you have different colors in your mold or you could add sprinkles to it. Huh. You can customize and make your own original candies. And I think that that's really important because for me, and I've got a three-year-old and I know your kids are a little bit older, but aren't they obsessed with candy? Oh, well, clearly. Uh, I mean, maybe not even as much as my husband is. Oh, okay, well, but I mean, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But they love gummies, gummy anything. Anything I can get them to gummy. Eat. Uh, yes. if this was, but I can't get them to like, you know, drink pomegranate juice or something right. like that. So but now I you can. It, now I can. <laughs> They're beautiful as well. And yep. here's the thing. You can get silicone molds and make your own candy. Sure. What you're getting here is the ability to keep it at the perfect temperature gummies. to melt it just right. Sometimes my husband will be like, I'm gonna melt chocolate and he melts it in the microwave. Well, yeah. what happens is half of it melts, oh, half of it you, burns, half of it stays. And it won't, and it won't solidify properly no, either, right? No, it definitely won't. Because you're and changing the chemical stay, composition. Yeah. Exactly, it won't stay that right temperature. This, I mean, Look it's almost like you is. could actually use this as like a little dip your dip your strawberries in it. Oh yeah, we've, we've got that on the end. You could dip pretzels or pineapple. You could oh, use it to keep it tempered at the perfect um, you you know, know, temperature, basically. You know how much strawberries like this cost Oh right yeah, they're now? $70 for a dozen. <gasps> yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> $70 a dozen of those. Oh my and that's gosh. with, you know, you got to pay for delivery. Um, this is a great idea. And by the way, this will get home in time for, you know, you to make little Valentine's treats. If oh you want to make homemade Valentine's treats, you can now be the Pinterest mom. I was joking because I was like, I am never the Pinterest mom. I'm always like, <laughs> buy it at the grocery store, send in the cupcakes. Now I'm the Pinterest mom and it just took me seconds. Oh, and I, I can do all these beautiful chocolates. So you can see in this one, I put some sprinkles, any sprinkles. But, you know, if it's maybe it's a baby shower and doing a gender reveal, you want to do all blue sprinkles or all pink sprinkles or whatever and then this is white chocolate okay so mm -hmm. any chocolate that you can purchase in the little discs or you know you can even buy bars of chocolate if you have a favorite chocolate you can buy bars of chocolate pop it on the inside melt it down you don't have to be perfect or precise here because that silicone is incredibly non-stick I won't pour them all we'll be here all day but um, you know just pour a couple of those all, it comes with nine each and you get the bears as well a half an hour in the refrigerator and you'll be very surprised because that silicone is so non-stick, it literally peels out. <gasps> Look how pretty oh, cute is that? are. Your own personal gourmet chocolate. It's your own recipes, your own oh. gourmet chocolates. You don't have to deal with the colorings. For me, when I look at candies, mm -hmm. um, I get nervous when I see red dye this, or yellow dye that, or orange dye this, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, it's a dye, it's a colorant. We hear all kinds of things about the chemical composition of those things that's going into our food, and we're unsure of whether we should feed that to our families, yeah. and really in the back of your mind, you know you probably shouldn't, but it's like we've never been able, it takes too much effort, you know, to make our own candies. These are some of the recipes I love. Okay, you're getting sour watermelon gummies. That's coming included. Ooh, that's How cool. delicious. I love it. Uh, coconut mango gummies. All these recipes are oh coming to gosh. you. You can make every single one of them. Coconut mint chocolate gummy, uh, chocolate, uh, antioxidant gummies. I mean, so these could be healthy, but don't mm -hmm. tell anybody, right? <laughs> I mean, they won't know. Coconut honey, dark chocolates, gourmet mint chocolates with sprinkles, uh, probiotic gummies. I mean, you can do, you know, all kinds of stuff. Sore throat lozenge gummies. I mean, and then I like that for like birthday parties or that baby so showers. pretty with different colors because you really, sky's the limit as far as what colors you can use if you're not trying to stick away, stay away from colors. Right. You can get all kinds of bright colors that you yep. never would. I mean, imagine having yep. chocolates or gummies that match your party theme. I love you know? that. Could Maybe it's it for a, the game. A, the big over game. the hill birthday and you want to do little black, you know, gummies sure. or whatever, or purple for somebody's favorite color uh. or it's a baby shower and you know that it's a boy, you know, whatever it is, this is just the green gelatin, right? So you can buy it in every color in the rainbow. You could even layer it. You could cool it and layer it, okay, and do rainbow gummies. I mean, the sky's the limit with how much fun you can have with this, right? And you have that pour spout on both sides and it takes it to the perfect temperature. So what it eliminates is you having to literally stand over a stovetop, get out your candy thermometer, make sure you're at the right temperature. You know, it just takes all the guesswork out mm -hmm. of it. Plus you're getting two of the silicone molds. And I looked online, there's every shape under the sun in molds. Yeah. I found a goat mold. <gasps> I'm into goats. It's yes. a weird thing, just but go, maybe go you're back. into uh, flamingos and you might find a flamingo mold. I mean, I love that. that's just totally, you know, looking online, you're getting the bear and you're getting the heart because those are our most popular. But then look, as they just, uh, look at that is a perfect, have you tried one of these? 
I'm I want to try, try that. Well, I tried the, the wine. You tried the one. wine. The, yeah, I know, I but have you tried one? I yeah. mean, look at any of these. You could now. You don't have to feel guilty about feeding these to your kids or your grandkids. Or you know, if you do, if you are sort of like me and you're jealous of all the moms that spend all day making the cute little baggies and stuff, mm. you don't have to spend all day doing it. Now it. you've. They make these um, discs pink already, so you don't even have to color right. them. But what a little a great idea for coloring is any kind of like a natural juice, like a pomegranate juice will turn oh, yeah, things red, bright. or a little tiny bit of beet juice, mm. turmeric will turn things yellow or orange. Um, just think of all the natural things, like purple cabbage will turn things purple. It won't give you the flavor of cabbage because you're just talking about the juice, mm -hmm. okay? So just think about the natural ways that you can flavor your gummies or flavor your chocolates, mm. and then feeding that to your family and having no guilt. So the perfect texture as well, and the toughest part about candy making, if you've ever tried it and maybe stopped, it's the getting the temperature just yeah. right. They have candy thermometers yes. so you can get it just yes. right. If you don't get the temperature right, the gummies aren't gonna gel right. No. If you don't get the temperature right, the chocolate's the chocolate gonna get chalky yeah, or too hard. It won't solidify. This is the perfect temperature. This is like your built-in candy thermometer and it keeps it at the right temperature. So it melts it. Yep and then it doesn't burn it. Keeps it at the right temperature, so maybe maybe you're just gonna use one silicone mold, and you're gonna keep this like this, you're gonna refrigerate it, mm -hmm. you're gonna come back, you're gonna do more. Yeah. It's gonna still keep it at that right temperature. It's so much fun. Even it just really making is. these with your sweetie, making these with your grandchild, it's just that great event that kind of keeps on giving $9.98. I mean, that's true. Can you imagine? I told my three-year-old we were going to make candy. He thought the world had come to an end. That was the greatest day of his life. <laughs> I mean, it was like, and then now every day we're making candy. And so you can do that, though. I mean, because it's so easy. All you need yeah. is the ingredients, which this one is just melting chocolate. Pour it in, walk away five, ten minutes later, come back. I mean, it couldn't get easier to make a healthier version of a snack. I'm not going to say it's calorie-free. Certainly there's sugar in here. But you are certainly, you know what's in here, rather than sort of buying it and wondering, well, Oh, what did they put in there this time? Um, I bought some all-natural candies the other day at a health food store. It's probably been a couple of weeks now. Um, it was $9 for, like, f an ounce. It was so expensive. And uh, granted, you know, they were natural and probably a healthier version, but I could have made it at home, you know, for pennies on the dollar. Look at the little, for like a baby shower, a little girl's five-year-old birthday party. I love it. How cute. And it, you could even have the birthday party and make the candy at the birthday party. And everybody could take home the candy that they made. I mean, there's That's millions fun. of ideas that you could come up with that are clever and cute and you're going to have fun with. It's just one of those treats to have in your kitchen yeah. that maybe of course, most of us didn't have. It's just a nice, fun addition to what we have already have in our kitchen mm -hmm. and now you can make candies with your friends and family and it's, then this one I love your it's idea really fun too and they end up looking very professional yeah. I think look at this so, chocolate. so many different things that you can do with it just melting the chocolate can be such a bear if you were thinking okay, look I'm, at gonna, my strawberry. I'm gonna dip strawberries for my guy or I'm gonna dip strawberries for me because I love them look at this that's actually a great way to do yeah. a healthy and still sweet treat $70 <gasps> on average you can find them cheaper you can find them for more $70 to do a dozen of the chocolate dip strawberries to send them to somebody that you mm. love of. Maybe it's and your that girlfriend's means that yeah. double boiler, oh, and yeah. then washing it and babying oh, it and getting yeah. the or oh, I, mean, I mean it really is or burning it. Which this is, is the season for chocolate dipped strawberries. Everybody's buying them. Mm -hmm. In fact, they you know all the you can't hardly find strawberries you know at the grocery stores because they're all bought up by the the chocolatiers selling them for seventy dollars a piece. Now you can just. You temper your own chocolate, you pop it in there, anything will do. Whether you want to add little toffee bits or if you want to, well, you know, a, find your yeah. favorite, you know, a kind of a neat idea is just pick your favorite candy bar and melt it and see what happens. It has a little caramel in it, it has Ooh. a little nut in it. You can pop it on the inside. These are great. Little party favors. <gasps> Any colors, you could do sports team colors, you know, these are